Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to place a subscribe button animation on your movie, just like the one you're seeing on screen right now. I'm gonna show you how to do it on iMovie for iOS and also on the desktop version. So no matter what you're doing, you're editing on, whether it's an iPhone or a laptop or iMac, whatever it might be, you'll be able to create this simple subscribe button animation. To make the whole process even easier, I have already created the subscribe animation itself and I'll leave a link to that download in the description box below. That link will take you to my website where you can download this for free and use it as you follow along with the tutorial. Just to clarify before we get started, that this is just a visual representation of the subscribe button. So when you're using it in your videos, always remember to add the audio call to action which is to subscribe to your channel by using the button below. It doesn't contain an active link, it's just a visual cue to subscribe. There is a way to place a subscribe button with a link on screen, but it's limited to the bottom right-hand corner of your video, and it's a small 150 square pixel graphic only. You can put any graphic you like there, and this can be done inside the YouTube Creator Studio. And I'm gonna come back and show you how to do that at the end of this tutorial. Without any further delay, let's get started and check out how to put the subscribe button animation on your videos in iMovie. Starting with iMovie for iOS and assuming that you've downloaded the subscribe animation and put it into your phone's camera roll, then you're ready to go. I ended up creating five variations for you with different positions, one on the top left of the screen, one on the top right, the left bottom, bottom right, and also one in the middle of the screen. You can bring them all into your camera roll and use whichever one suits your video. By the way, if you have your own animation or subscribe button graphic with a green or blue screen background, feel free to use it instead of the one that I've supplied. Go to the point in the timeline of your movie where you want to show the subscribe animation by swiping along your thumbnails left and right. I'm going to place my animation about one minute into the video, so I'll move until the playhead marker is over that point. Tap on the plus button and navigate to the subscribe animation in the camera roll. I'll use the one that's positioned in the top right-hand corner for this example. Tap on it and then tap on the three-dotted icon to the right-hand side of the plus button. Select green screen, blue screen in the list of options that appears, and this will add the animated subscribe video clip as an overlay and automatically remove the green background for you. Go ahead and add as many of these as you like throughout your video. In the intro and at the end of your video is usually the best place to put them. And now you have a standout subscribe call to action that should help you get more subscribers. Now let's take a look at how to do this for iMovie for Mac OS. Once again, download the pack of subscribe animations that I've created for you. Go to the media tab in iMovie, click on import media, or just drag them from the folder that's located on your computer into the media section to add the animations as video clips. Drag the subscribe animation of choice onto the timeline over an existing video clip. Tap on the first icon on the top menu, which is the video overlay settings. Change this from cutaway to green screen, blue screen. And once again, just like it did in the iOS version, iMovie should knock out that green background, leaving you with the subscribe button animation overlay on top of your video. Finally, let's take a look at the built-in subscribe button option that you can add in your YouTube channel, Creator Studio. To get there, navigate to your YouTube page on a computer web browser, assuming you're signed in with your YouTube Creator account, you should see a YouTube Studio button in blue under the main banner of your YouTube page. Click on it to get to the Creator Studio, tap on the settings menu item at the bottom left of the screen, tap on the channel menu in the pop-up window that appears in the middle of your screen, tap on branding, and now you can add a watermark over your video, you can add your own logo, or you can add a subscribe button icon of choice. If you wanna use the one that I supplied in the download folder, feel free to do so, or go ahead and use your own graphic. If you're using your own image, make sure that it's square in dimensions. It can be any size, but don't make it too big. I used one that's 250 pixels by 250 pixels. YouTube will end up displaying an optimized version at 150 by 150 pixels, and it will place it in the bottom right-hand corner 
of your videos. You can't change the position or size of this subscribe button, however. However, you can change the display time. It can appear over the entire video, or you can give it a custom start time or just display it at the end of all your videos. This is a default setting and once applied, it will appear on all of your videos that you've previously uploaded along with any new videos that you add to your channel. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. And if you've got any questions whatsoever, feel free to put them in the comments box below. See you on the next one. Bye for now.